Hello, great to be with you yeah. um, Hi, for everybody. number two of yeah. season two. two. Um, excited again just to share around God's word about beyond the door and what it means to us as yeah. kingdom citizens and how it should affect us once we get through that door about the way to live. So mm -hmm. I'll hand over to John. Yeah, so sorry to uh, be coming later, guys. So we're in one of the rooms in church here and uh, other day. things have been happening. So we're a bit a bit later than usual, so we're sorry for that. But here we go anyway. And as as usual, like to be with you. It was great to uh, be back praying last night with numerous people who could attend and yeah. uh, just you know, every little step we're taking forward, we're appreciating. So open Indeed. up your hearts and here we go. Matthew eleven twelve says, "From the days of John the Baptist until now." kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing and forceful men lay hold of it and um, I'll explain a little bit about that in a moment or two but what, what we're trying to do today is give you kind of an overview of where we've been really and uh, on this subject of the kingdom and bring back in some of the thoughts we've already mm. uh, brought to your attention and you know repetition is is a good thing um and we want you to truly grasp what we're trying to say and what we're trying to teach through this Amen. so god's desire is that his heavenly kingdom will spread and advance the earth mm. the kingdom of heaven is spreading colonize the earth that was god's intention remember the invisible kingdom of heaven being on uh, on the visible it being in the visible kingdom on earth that's that word you couldn't say the other day oh, as well, I'm, I'm struggling again I'm like, oh my goodness <laughs> remember jesus began with just 12 disciples since then literally literally billions of human beings have been who follow him Amazing. there's a lot of us on earth now but remember through the through the centuries mm. many many people have been true followers have been some who've just in Christianity is a religious thing, but many, many who have been born again of God's Spirit. Heaven will be well populated, and the new earth will be well populated as well. It's important to say that. So, the kingdom of God has been advancing forcefully, and forceful men lay hold of it. And things just to say about that. Obviously, it's not forcefully in the sense of we yield a sword or you know take it violently in that sense but spiritually it is violent and because we have opposition and in prayer and intercession um we have to we have to be violent in those things mm. as you well know to remove uh, the, the present darkness as it were. and also in order to get God's promises in our lives. We won't look at the scripture now, but Ephesians 3, in Paul's second prayer in Ephesians, he speaks about uh, that you may have the power to grasp, take hold. And and that, that takes uh, forceful effort sometimes and to really get hold of the promises of God and see them manifest yeah. in our lives. So on from that, what's absolutely imperative to understand is there there is no difference between the kingdom of god in heaven and the kingdom of god on earth it's one and the same thing it's not kingdom when you die and you you enter the kingdom of heaven it, you know that's often um the thought that we have isn't it until we realize how many times jesus talked about the kingdom uh in the now uh, and i think a script we brought out on tuesday was um he has given us the kingdom in delight to give us yeah. the kingdom yeah and we we also pray let thy will on earth be as it is in heaven so jesus came preaching repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand meaning it's near it's about to come and of course it came through his death and resurrection and it's important to understand that for what we're going to get into so he wasn't talking about heaven in the future, and I'm re-emphasizing that. He was talking about heaven in the now, yes. in the kingdom. Heaven is not just a destination, then. It's a kingdom, and it's now. Now. Amen. And where we get, well, it's not where we get, it's but the scripture that Jesus mm. 
in John 10, 10 about abundant life is yeah. about life on earth, not yeah. about life when we get to heaven, is it? Okay. Absolutely. And as we well know, that's not an easy thing because you have to be an overcomer yeah. to enjoy and experience an abundant life on earth. And, right. and uh, in Christ, we can do that. Amen. Jesus said, take heart, I have overcome. And yes. He lives inside of us, isn't that brilliant? Mm. So when we receive Christ Jesus as our Savior, we become of a new kingdom. It is completely different to this world, it raises our status as children of God, heights that are beyond our imagination. That's right. I want to pointedly say to us here that what we feel God is doing and will do to the future of our church is to you like move us from membership to citizenship okay membership to citizenship it's not my thought but i heard it yesterday I was, I was listening to a preach yesterday online and he brought that line and it really resonated with me. Okay. it's not to say you're just a member most of our church are members but it's a traditional thing to say i'm a member of that church and people Often say there's 200 people, for example, 200 members in our church, and half of them don't even go, but they're on the register. <laughs> well, we're, we're talking about enlightening ourselves to understand yeah. we are not just members of a church. Amen. We are citizens of, of a, a kingdom. kingdom. Amen. Brilliant. Yeah. Do you like that? I do like that, yeah. Go on then. Do you want to say anything? Only, well, I just feel like when you were saying it then, it's like an enlargement of your tent pegs out, isn't it? Yeah. Because, because mm. so so much of it when you when you come through that door and become a christian yeah you start to go to church and then yeah. the people so the people who are not beyond the door that's what they see you as they yeah. just see you as someone that goes to yes, church exactly. but your everyday no life idea, actually it's just as mundane and can be just as yeah. hard and bad and mm. sad and bitter as mine is so yeah. what i want what you've got whereas what we're trying to do is as we get through the door make us all aware that no 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 mm. we're citizens of a new kingdom and we yeah. have to create a counterculture where our marriages are the best, that we have the best jobs, that our family life's amazing, that our families are together and, and we're the, at the top of our game. I'm, I'm talking to the youth tomorrow at their Limitless Festival about that thing. We need them. We need Christians at the top of media, the top of journalism, yeah. doctors, school teachers, Absolutely. artists, whatever. We should Every be the one. We should be the head, not the tail. That's yeah. what Scripture says, yeah. and that's where. We want to. We want to step away from just being members of churches to being actually no in, in people's minds. Yeah, in, pe pe yeah. in people's minds. Yeah. To, but no, when they look over the door into our kingdom or through the window of our kingdom, and they see a bunch of people whose lives are just amazing, even through trials, life is still amazing. Absolutely, and that leads me on to say that once we recognise we're a city pick up on the fact that Jesus uh, refers to us as his ambassadors mm. on earth. We gain a status that changes our breed from being merely human to being uh, in God's family. And Amazing. we become way above the top tribe on earth. We become greater than earthly royalty. That's the truth. We become yeah. higher and beyond the highest caste and we become no less than a child of that's the truth of it. It, it. The hard bit is living up to that, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> uh, we're a royal priesthood, scriptures, holy nation, a people belonging to God. We may declare the praises of Him who brought us out of darkness and into His wonderful Amen. light. And that light shines clearly. We realize who we are, we realize what we can do in Him, and we realize our final destination. Yes. So everything changes once we're born again. Should do oh, anyway. Should. Yeah. I mean, spiritually, it changes. Yeah, it it? Eternity, does. eternity yeah. it changes immediately, yeah, doesn't it? Does. it? Yeah. Yeah. And there are two kingdoms operating on earth. One is the kingdom of darkness, spoken of in scripture, and it's headed up by no less than Satan himself. Mm -hmm. um, One John five nineteen informs us: we know that we are children of God, and that the whole world is under the control of the evil one. That's so hard for people to grasp, for us believers to grasp. The old world is under the control of the evil one. That's the world system, of yeah. course. It's the world system. The world it's system. the, it's the, the order, the system, the world order that's in place. It's headed up by Satan. It's mm -hmm. clear as a whistle, Yeah. but it's hard to believe. 
So the second kingdom then is the kingdom of God. There's the kingdom of darkness here and there's the kingdom of God, which has its origin in heaven, but through Jesus has now spread to earth and is headed up by Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm looking down on notes, which I don't usually do on this, but it's, it's important to get the scriptures out to you as we're doing an overview. So that's why I'm looking down quite a bit. So we gain entry into this kingdom by accepting Jesus as our personal saviour. There's no other entry. That's no. the only way in. It's the only door. You can't do it through going to church. And most of you listening to this know that. Um, and But it, what's important is at the point that we come to salvation through our personal saviour, he, he enters us by his spirit. Yeah. And equips us to both live in, the, live in and advance through us the kingdom of God on earth. That's his intention. Mm. We're in a kingdom. And it's not a democracy. It has a king. And we know his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. It's said of him, he is the Christ. Son of the living God. I love that. Yeah. You are the Christ. You are the Christ. Son of the living God. One of his... He, one of his other titles is Commander in Chief. I like that one as well. Me too. And he gives us this advice. So the, you, the priorities of life have to be understood. And there is a priority of priorities. And that is this. Would you read it for me? What is it? Where are we? Seek yeah. first. Yeah. Seek first. The priority of priorities. The kingdom yeah. of God. Yeah. Seek first. The kingdom. Mm. The Not, kingdom. We said this, I think, yeah. early on, didn't we? It didn't say seek first Jesus or seek first God, which you would think that that's what it would say. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it means that in, in the broader sense. Yeah. But you've it, already sought Jesus yeah, to get Yeah, that's served. right. Yeah. You've already got he's Jesus. He's the door. He's the door. So you've come and through the door. And he's the commander-in-chief, and he's the be-all and end-all. Yeah, so you come through the door, yeah. and then you have to seek the kingdom. And that yeah. means... Mm. Right, what does it mean now to live in this yeah. kingdom? I've, I've come out of this kingdom where there were kind of no rules and I could yeah. live however I wanted. I could lie, deceive, cheat, you know, whatever I want. But now that I come through this door, I mm -hmm. can't I can't do that anymore. Yeah. I have to find yeah. what the precepts, the laws that you've talked about before yeah. of God Statutes, and how I live precepts, in that, laws, yeah. how I live now in that kingdom. Yeah, I was thinking just before you go on that, I don't lose his thought. You enter through the door, Jesus. Then seeking first his kingdom is is submitting yourself. What Jesus then teaches us yeah. on how to live, isn't it? Yeah. Seek first the kingdom of God, because he, he has set those laws, those precepts, those statutes, etc., yeah. pre, um, in place. I don't know what the other one. Anyway, um, he's put them in place, and they had to teach us how to live in this kingdom successfully. And at the same time, be his ambassadors. Yeah. What a what a great fantastic duality that is. What you, you read the next one if you don't mind. Which one, darling? And his seek first and kingdom his of righteousness. God. Yeah. And all these things, meaning everything you ever need, yeah. will be added to, to you. you. Yeah. But you have to seek the kingdom first. Yeah. And its principles. So that's a priority of priorities in scripture. Yeah. Then there's a lot more priorities. Often some of them are general, but others are depending on what you're going to do in that kingdom. You know, for example, in my life, it behoves me perhaps to spend more time in the word and in prayer than, than most people would have to, you know, uh, or are expected to, because mm. my role is as a minister. So it, it stands to reason, doesn't it? That, uh, you know, my priorities could be a little bit different to everybody. I don't mean that's not important for everybody. We're talking priorities. Everybody... Everybody should have the same priority of priority. Yeah, and that's, and that's seeking first. first kingdom of God and his righteousness. And it's like we said before, once mm -hmm. you come through the door, yeah. that rhymes. Everybody has to do that. You can't just you can't mm. just come through the door and camp there and expect everybody else to seek the kingdom first for you. No. So so you can just do everything that you want and then I'll, I'll and somebody you. else will yeah. come and, and tap you on the back or give you a cutch see the cutch word over there cuddle, cuddle. Yes. or f continue to speak so so we're all seeking mm -hmm. first the kingdom but we have to keep coming back because yeah. you're not 
Yeah. That's not what this is about. This is about everybody yeah. taking their responsibility to seek first. Continuing these small steps. The kingdom, forward. yeah, absolutely. Discipleship. Yes. Obviously, yeah. So the kingdom of God is a totally different form of government in the world. It is a government that is administered through agape, unconditional love. What's that? Yeah, I heard you talk about that. Yeah. Agape. Oh, it's research. Well, okay, well. Yeah, you should do too. We who are in it, this new kingdom, can expect the best and we are commanded yeah, to give our best. That's great. We are. Great sentence. And in this kingdom, you don't have to work toward a high status. You are adopted into it. You're adopted into a high status as a child of God mm. at the new birth. And uh, a scripture you're fairly familiar with by now is this. Matthew 11, 11 says, Amongst those born of women, none has risen greater than John the Baptist. But he who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than John the Baptist. Now, you know that I've said I coined a phrase when I first, this first uh buried in my heart the truth of this verse of scripture and it's this well i'm at least the least mm -hmm. and the least is greater mm -hmm. than john the baptist if you can think about the person who perhaps is a christian but you know not going on as they should but they are a christian the least is greater than john the baptist it's just it's staggering birth, yeah. there is no doubting that john the baptist was a true grade is a true grade how can we re be regarded as greater well, though John lived in the New Testament era, he was actually the yeah. end of an old era. He was a prophet in the line of the Old Testament prophet. Mm -hmm. Remember, he predated the cross and the resurrection. He was the end of the old, ultimate way for the new. And the kingdom of God was at hand in Jesus, but it was beyond John's earthly life. Yeah. So anyone who through the new birth is in the kingdom of God, is greater in status than John. Yeah. The reason is this, the new kingdom elevates us to citizens of heaven. Now, not future, now. And it changes our birthright all because of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. John, 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 John did, did, wasn't alive when that took place. John. Ah. Man. The new birth elevates you as a human being then to the status of being at least the least and even the least exactly. is greater than John the Baptist. And Say Jesus, of yourself, I'm at least the least. And, so, and John the Baptist, if you remember, it looks like a few weeks ago, John the Baptist's line was repent because the kingdom of heaven is near. And when, when it wasn't until John went to prison that Jesus began, so it was almost like John... Handed mm. the baton on, he handed yeah. the baton on to Jesus. John the Baptist was the end of the Old Testament prophets, yeah. like John mm. just said. And then, when, if you read it, I think it's, I don't think it's in Mark, where mm. when Jesus heard that John the Baptist was in prison, he began his ministry and uh, preaching that that the kid repent for the kingdom of heaven is. Yeah, there's a link there, isn't there's there? A link. Yeah. yeah, yeah, great. And um, there's a there's a title or or there's something in scripture that reveals this to us with regard to our status. And it, it says that Jesus makes us right. We are made. Not You didn't make yourself righteous. You'd had nothing to do with it except accepting Jesus as your saviour. He makes you righteous and he did a perfect 100% job Hallelujah. on your life. So a healthy relationship with the Holy Spirit is the greatest way we can elevate the person of Jesus on our earth. Stay close. Yeah, we have to we be do. filled. We have to walk in the spirit. All of those things, yeah. uh, and then we, we're going to shine Jesus on them. Right. We're empowered to live as citizens of heaven, a fallen world. We are in a world, in the world, they say, but not of it, doesn't it? We're in it. Not we're in it. We're in it right now. Mm -hmm. We're breathing its air. Doing, we're doing the things we do, but we're not of it. We're of another place. We're, we think we're, a different way. We can we? think a different way. We can expect much more than somebody who doesn't know Jesus, Absolutely. because we can pray yeah. and we can we can receive the promises of the kingdom. So we are meant to be a piece of heaven on earth now. This this gospel of the kingdom, Jesus, will be preached the kingdom in all the world, and then the end shall come. The gospel of the kingdom is the way to salvation. And I, I said it 
this Sunday or the previous Sunday, last Sunday or the Sunday before that. The church's job is to proclaim the salvation and make salvation available uh, to anybody uh, into the world. But, but then it changes role. Once a person comes to educating people how to live in the kingdom. Yeah. So it's the gospel of the kingdom. It's not just come to Jesus and get saved. That's the prime thing. Is the door. It's then the church's job to make clear how wonderful this kingdom is that we're in now. It's a, an incredible kingdom. Yes. Jesus kept saying that the kingdom of God is like, the kingdom of God is like, uh, and, and then tell a parable about this amazing, amazing kingdom that we have entered. So the gospel of the kingdom, then, of which we are Christ's ambassadors will be preached in all the world. So an ambassador has to tell the whole story. We have to give the fullness of the gospel as God's people. Now, how can we do that if we stay at the door? How can we do that yeah. if we are, as Deb said earlier, no different to the world mm -hmm. apart from saying, I've accepted Jesus and as I my saviour and I go to church. There has to be, and we're on that journey from membership to what? Citizenship. citizenship. And our citizenship is going to be very, very powerful in our community. We had good prophecies last night uh, with regard to us being a beacon that God will light. And if we, it, you know, a, a beacon has to be built. It's it, it's like a bonfire type thing, mm. isn't it? On a on a mountain top, and then it's lit, and then it shines for miles. We yeah. have to be a city on a hill that cannot be Amen. hidden. And the other prophetic word we had, or you know, one or two things came through last night. But another one that was distinct to this was that, um, like the cloths that took. Paul and then we're taken out and heal people will flow from this place and people will tune in even digitally and get healed amen. as they do so yes. and I say amen, amen to that yes amen. please Lord we yeah. want to be we want to be citizens who are so strong that the spirit of God in us can even sure. even travel uh, beyond our you know beyond our shores yeah. over, over the airwaves to other parts of the world of course and uh, we had somebody tuning in from South Sudan this week Sudan, Duba in South Sudan, and, and asking how he could get into uh, and, and into our study on Revelation, actually. So, ambassador's function is to represent, and you know, as we as we start to round up for today, let's break this down. We are called to represent, represent Jesus and all that He did. So, so what what took place in Jesus' life? It's our job to represent that in our era yeah. if you like and and jesus said you'll do even greater things than you've seen me doing so so that's our task and we have to keep growing developing building till we can do what jesus says we Amen. can do in his name he said greater works no, i don't fully understand that but he said it so it's possible isn't it david uh, oh oh Depo, a nigerian pastor had this to say friend only ignorance of your true nature will prevent right. your distinction. Right. We have to know who we are. We have to live accordingly to yep. who we are. He went on to say, miracles are not accidental occurrences. They are the deliberate act of God, motivated, motivated by the desperate faith of man. That it comes through our faith and mm -hmm. God acts and goodness me, every one of us wants to see more and more miracles, Amen. don't we? Okay, um, the Lord's Prayer instructs us, pray what? Line with this. Thy kingdom come, thy, kingdom. thy will be done yeah. on earth Amen. as it is in heaven, Amen. creating that no different, Yeah. like a continuation. Yeah, the invisible it, kingdom it? invading the visible, the visible kingdom, yeah. absolutely fantastic. Mm. Brilliant. We all know those words, don't we? You know the Lord's Prayer, you know those words, and we repeat them, and we do repeat them. And the Lord's Prayer is just prayed as a repetition. And we learn it in school, and mm -hmm. in my age group, we all learn it in school, didn't we? We're not really knowing no, what we were asking for. Thy kingdom come. We're mm -hmm. advancing it in prayer. You know, when our hearts and our mouths are in unison, when we pray, Thy, thy will be earth it is in heaven forcefully something advancing. is something is forcefully advancing in yeah. our inner beings yes. god has a kingdom on earth folks we happen to be in it we the church are it 
And um, Jesus told us to pray that prayer. And he told us to live as citizens of heaven. That's our task and we're going to help one another do that. We're going to grow together. We're going to keep looking at information that informs us Amen. on how to best live this amazing, amazing life in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Is it that? No, I think we're done. That was yeah, great. It is. So, be a citizen, not just a member. Be a citizen. You like that, don't you? I do. Is it a new one? It's a new is one. it in line with Beyond the Door? Yes. Is it in line with... It's don't Camp at the Door. Don't Camp at the Door. Is it in line with Beware of the Man in the White Suit? Yes. Is there any more? Bubbles. Bubbles. Balloons. Balloons. Hot air balloons. Hot air balloons. Mm. Bad adventure. Yeah. yeah, we're still all going. All of that's come through lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, and all of them mean something. You yeah, know, that, that we, can, we can embrace. <laughs> okay, love you guys. Yeah, see you Bless next you. Week. Have a great weekend, Bye. and um, we'll see. see you. Ho hopefully, tune in on Sunday. Yeah, we'll be doing our best, as you know. All right, and Bye. Bye. Go. See you. Bye.